Percents represent parts of a whole, and actually they mean parts of 100. So 35% means 35 out of 100. And percents can be written as fractions. In this case, it's 35 over 100. We can read this fraction as 35 divided by 100. In order to convert the fraction 35 over 100 to a percent, we can work backwards. And there are three steps to do this. Divide the fraction out to get a decimal, multiply the decimal by 100, and attach a percent sign. Doing the division, 35 over 100 is 0.35. Multiply 0.35 times 100 to get 35, and attach a percent sign to get 35%. But we can actually take a shortcut once we have the fraction in decimal form. We just move the decimal point two places to the right, attach any trailing zeros if needed, and attach a percent sign. For example, the fraction 2 over 5. 2 divided by 5 is 0.4. We move the decimal two places to the right, attach a zero, and add in the percent sign to get 40%. For the mixed number fraction of 2 and 1 over 4, we first convert it to an improper fraction, which I've written out on the screen, and that gives us 9 over 4. So we divide 9 by 4 to get 2.25. We then move the decimal two places to the right and attach a percent sign to get 225%. For the fraction 1 over 128, we divide to get 0 0.0078125. Next, we move the decimal two places to the right and attach a percent sign to get 0.78%. And I just round it off to keep it cleaner looking. And 0.78% means less than 1%. 1% is 1 out of 100, so 0.78% is less than 1 out of 100, so it's a very small number. And there actually is a second, much shorter way to convert a fraction to a percent. We just multiply the fraction by 100%. For example, 3 over 5. We multiply by 100% to get 300% over 5. And dividing out, we get 60%. And here are a few more examples of both methods written out for you. All right, my friends, hopefully you got something out of this video. I do have sh sh more videos right there for you. Till next time, I am out of here.